Good morning, people. Welcome to build day for the 2016 Haunted Tents experience. <sighs> what an experience. Uh, walked you through that a couple of times yesterday. We ended up getting the photo haul done. Uh, today, first order of business is going to be on the outside of the tent, even though I'm on the inside of the tent. And that's these cubby holes I never got done yesterday because it got too late and too dark. I gotta get a sheet of plywood up. I got several. I got this cubby hole and a couple of more down the way down there. Get that done. And then we've got this. The outside of the hunt. And as you can see, it looks like a mess. This is the uh, back side of the spider display and the uh, photo hall. I've got to get sidewalls like that down the outside of it. So we'll get the plywood up first and then get the sidewalls on. I do that like I explained yesterday or explained before. I do that for my neighbors <laughs> to make it look a little nicer for her so she doesn't have to look at it for a month plus. Uh, so that's going to be our first project today after I get set up, got my tools and stuff out here. Uh, next project is going to involve this garden and this garden. Uh, this one here is a gypsy display. There is no display here, but I have wall panels that go up. I need to get those wall panels in to uh, finish off the gypsy display. There's a wall that comes out toward us here and goes across. So I, ha I have to get that framed in too. So we're going to work on this area here next and then probably the corn hallway or for ba baldy jack a corn hole <laughs> there you go baldy jack i gave you a shout out you can put it in your vlog uh breakfast of the day had one at a restaurant here a couple of weeks back it was delicious perfect thing a german pancake it's not like the American pancakes. It's very, very thin and usually about the size of a frying pan. And the one I had, had was kind of an apple streusel. They did a regular German pancake and then topped it with cinnamon and hunks of apple and, you know, like a pie filling. You just kind of drizzle that over the top of it with a little bit of white icing. Oh, man, that was heaven. I'll be going back to that restaurant just to get those. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. Side order of link sausage, some fried eggs, and some wheat toast. Wash it down, a little bit of milk, a little bit of orange juice. So there's your breakfast of the day. And I'm doing such a wholesome breakfast of the day. Because the last two, three days, we've been just burning it. And we haven't been eating very well. So to morning, this morning, you guys are going to eat well. There's your breakfast of the day. As you can see, we got the sidewall done. You didn't have me talking right there because I had the neighbors just getting out of their car, getting to the house, and it looked like, well, it looked like an idiot <laughs> talking to you guys. Because I get some weird looks. But we got the sidewalls up on the side of the haunt. And on the inside here, we got the plywood up. In that section, this section and this section this section really doesn't need it but what the hell I put it up anyway so we got that done and I think for the time being that's all the work over in this part of the haunt I'm going to be doing I am going to get also tired of running this maze I do every year that brings us out here I uh, think I'm going to get that encased. I got a set of walls that goes. I leave a two foot gap from the corner of the house out so I can get in there because we put high stuff in there that I need to get to electrical and scuba boo boards and that sort of thing. So we'll go two foot out from the house. We'll go all the way around here, down here, and up to the planter. Got to get that encased. That's going to be job one. Job two is going to be doing the back wall out there. So that's going to be our next project. We're making progress. Got this framed. Just finished the corn hallway. 
and the gypsy displays display is done which makes it more of a bitch for setup because now I have to run the maze in order to get into where I'm working at uh, we did do a change in here since we have the gypsy display in this area that display is not a very big display we don't have very many things for it uh, so we decided to shrink it up a little bit this wall here normally goes behind the bush up against the house which gives us about another two and a half feet across the back and we don't need it we, I mean this is gonna be plenty of room and we'll have trouble trying to fill this as it is so gonna be interesting so we uh, did that and I left my doorway we'll hang a curtain here and then back in here I keep I've got all my wiring for all my uh, lights and electrical things uh, we're gonna have a projector back here shining up onto the sheet uh, we'll have a couple of scuba boards in here which will be running in the pneumatics for the corn hall and the clown hall ought to be interesting uh, my next job in here is I've got to get the skins in and get the gypsy display skinned which could be a fun job meanwhile on the other side the wife's been busy she got all my lumber out she had this stored back in her vegetable garden and it was covered with pumpkins and zucchini and spider webs and her and Morgan got this all lugged out I'll, I'll use all of it I might need to buy a little bit more I don't know seems like every year we're always throwing out oddball pieces and needing to buy more for the next season so uh, there's a kind of a midday update for you not too bad we got the plywood in we got the neighbor's side with their uh, wall panel all the way down to hide that we got the corn hole done and the gypsy hole done as far as framing we are definitely making some progress it's a little more defined of course it's all the corn hall with the walls on both sides you can a little bit more defined then you get in here to the gypsy display and it's more defined and I mentioned about running out of panels on the photo hall stuff I had plenty of extra walls so we did them in gypsy so we got that taken care of the maze grows and it's actually starting to feel like a maze now I'm gonna switch gears technically I should be working on the witches display the back wall that goes up there is all on the other side is also photo op so it's a double display to do this area here is getting more of this zigzag hallway it's going to be the clown hall I can't do anything in here until we get the corn in and stuff and then I can put the clown hallway together uh, I'm gonna hold off on doing witch and photo op for now and I've got the water wall I need to get out here easier to get it right straight in without having to thread the maze uh, there's a lot of the pneumatic mechanisms and stuff in the shed a couple of things downstairs what have you so I'm gonna switch gears and start getting some of the bigger pieces out here into the maze while I have access to it so I'm not having to run the maze so we're gonna go with that for now well we made it through the shed I still got stuff in there but stuff that I could get to so it can stay in but we got a mess out here surprisingly there wasn't as much as I thought in the big tent that needed to be taken out most of the stuff all goes out on the driveway <laughs> but the pieces that we did have in there that needed to go in the tents are in the tents uh, the basement stuff Sue and I talked we're gonna wait and do that tomorrow it's almost dinner time we're both beat and that's a lot of work hauling that stuff up out of the basement so we'll do that first thing in the morning and not worry about it tonight I think uh, for the time being Sue Ann's probably gonna go in and rest a bit before starting dinner yeah so tomorrow night we said we don't have to go on the road but uh, 
he's gonna take a break and uh, then cook dinner. And I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch over to the witch's display. And I'm gonna work on that until dinner. And then after dinner, we'll get back into the Dragon's Lair workshop and work on the mausoleum. <laughs> so that's gonna be turning events for the rest of this vlog. Okay, I'm slacking. I sat down for a bit after I shot the uh, last clip. I'm just getting back out here. I forgot I didn't get all the pot belly stove out here. This was something that was in the torture chamber. And since we're not doing the torture chamber this year, we figure we put it in the gypsy display. Let's see. Walk the maze here. <coughs> Excuse me. Hacking my head off. And as far as the rest of the stuff, we got the mech for the jumping spider, the mech for the attack spider, and the spider legs out here. Oh, bouncing spider mech is out here. And we got the bubble light boxes out here. Uh, Sue got the uh, water wall, or not the water wall, but the uh, boards for the pond. I think I showed you that earlier. I got the water wall out here. And that's pretty much as far as we've gotten. We'll have more out here tomorrow after we do the basement. Now my next job is I gotta get my table moved. And we're gonna get the side wall up there and the side wall up here and get our door figured out too. I'll have to go over the map. It looks like the door goes from here to here. It's a straight shot and then all of this will be witch's display. And then there is a bit of a maze on the outside of it as well. So, who knows. But anyway, I'm going to get those partition walls and stuff up and done. And I don't know if I'll get them skinned tonight. I doubt I'll get them skinned tonight. They'll have to get skinned tomorrow. Now, Sue just called dinner. I'm calling it quits out here. I got everything picked up. Blow up some plug. We got a little bit further. Uh, I got started on that wall. I still have a couple more panels to do. This wall here for the inside is still done, but I have a hallway that runs out here, stops, and then turns and goes out in the driveway now. So I need to add a couple of panels here yet. I think I'm going to hold off on, I don't know if I'll hold off on that. I might put them in tomorrow. Uh, but anyway, I got to get those put in yet. I've got to finish this wall out. And it extends out a couple of feet as well. I might hold off and I'm ready to do the driveway and come back and do them. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, we got to get this wall finished off. We'll do that tomorrow. We got to get uh, skinned in here. That pattern needs to go up in here. And then I need to hop on the other side, take the side wall down, and get the outside skinned for the uh, photo op. That will all get done tomorrow as well as bringing the stuff up from downstairs and getting that out here. So, you know, that's going to be on the docket for tomorrow. Now, right now, I'm going to go in, get some dinner, take a break for about a half hour, 45 minutes, and then we're going to head out in the shop and try to get some more work done out in the shop. Uh, okay, we're out in the shop, obviously. Uh, we got the brass done last night. Tonight, we are going to be working on this outer edge. I want to add, uh, add a little character to it. So I'm going to be using my airbrush and we're going to go through and I'm going to spray this area on all the panels with, it's kind of a bluish greenish grayish color, color. looks more bluish green when it's uh, wet and has more of a gray tone to it when it dries. But we're going to spray it and we're going to get a lot of overspray, overspray like we did on the grout, which is fine. Uh, once we get all these done, I'll let them dry for a day and then I'll come back through and roll it uh, with the uh, original color and that will clean up a lot of the slop and stuff and make them look a lot better. If we can get the spraying done, I have that touch up on them to do and then like over here on this one, I got a little bit of overshoot on the uh, center pieces. They need to be touched up. So we'll be basically be in touch up mode and that's what I want. I want touch up mode. As soon as touch-up's done, these damn things are out of here. And I need the room in my shop. My table's a freaking mess. I can't get the things because the panels are in the way. I want this project done. 
It's going on 1030. I got all the panels done except for three. But that's what they're turning out looking like. And I know it's a freaking mess. It's supposed to be. Now, I did want to cover how I am doing this here. I am doing this backwards. It's costing me a little touch more paint and it's eating up a lot of time. But I'm doing it for a reason. Technically, this bluish dark green color I'm currently spraying on here, I should have sprayed the whole thing that color to begin with. And then tonight, I could have had the paint roller out and just gone over the surface of it with this lighter gray color and been done with it. Now, that's the proper way of doing it. I elected not to do it for two reasons. First off, the uh, bigger spray guns I use to shoot my base colors, those there, they work good for covering areas. But when you start getting into smaller damaged areas and stuff, I'm noticing, like up here, you don't know if you can tell, there's a little bit more white showing right there. That's because the uh, paint sprayers didn't get enough paint into that area. You know, uh, you know here's another one here. You might be able to see it. Uh, you know, so it's actually better to use my little airbrush to get in there to get that damaged area. That's the main reason, or one of the reasons. The main reason, though, is the coloring. When I originally designed this, I knew what I wanted for the base, I knew what I wanted for the plaque, and this gray color I knew I, I wanted to do. But the damaged areas, I had three different paint colors, and I was having trouble choosing, and I literally didn't know what color I wanted to use until I came in here tonight. You know, so, you know, it's kind of hard to pre-shoot the damaged areas when you don't know what color you want to do them. <laughs> so I'm taking the long method. <laughs> so we got that. Uh, Non-haunt related. Didn't mean to mention it. My Haunted Tents gift shop, aka Haunted Treasures. Uh, we've got some uh, paper or clay skulls, three or four different sizes. Uh, we got them in plaques. We've got them in necklaces. Uh, we've got over 15 spices, 15 different types of spices up on my Haunted Treasures Etsy page that my wife's done up, made from fresh peppers, everything from sweet to hot. Uh, and then we got my LED stuff, my floodlights, my spotlights, I got stakes for the floods, I've got one amp and two amp wall wards for them, what have you. Uh, if you guys are, you know, not so much the skulls and the spices, but on the lighting, if you guys are thinking about wanting to go low voltage, 12 volt lighting, and you want to do it for your haunt this year, make sure you get over to my Etsy page and place your order for it. Uh, latest you can order that I will guarantee you have it by Halloween is October 15th. So you still got a couple of weeks yet. But if you want to get an order in, you want to make sure you have it in time for your haunt, get over to my Etsy page by the 15th of October and, and get your stuff ordered. Uh, if you order after that date, I cannot guarantee you're going to have it by Halloween. So I th figure I throw in a plug for my haunted treasures. I need some business on that. I need to get rid of some merchandise. I got oodles of stuff sitting downstairs left over from West Coast. I want to get rid of it. So order. Uh, now that's said and done. Tomorrow, I am probably going to be coming in here during the day sometime and finishing these three panels off. It's about an hour and a half worth of work, maybe two hours, give or take, to get these panels to look like that panel. And then tomorrow night we can come in and, you know, be done with them, except for the touch-ups. <laughs> I, need, I need to get these things done and out of here. I mentioned that earlier. But anyway, oh, one other thing I wanted to bring up to you while I'm thinking about it. Uh, one of my subscribers, haven't heard from him for ages, uh, used to go by FF Looks at 40. Not, don't remember what his new handle is on YouTube. Uh, James, I want to say James Stewart is his name, and I'm probably wrong on that. I apologize, FF Looks at 40. 
Uh, he came up with an idea. And I'm going to have to shoot it down, I'm afraid. Uh, his idea was, since I do a donut of the day, I do a breakfast of the day. We did lunch of the day the other day. He suggested when we do a wrap-up, you know, usually I'm sitting out on the front porch, but with this project going on, I'm in, uh, wrapping up in here. But he's, he was thinking, as a closure, do a beer of the day. You know, same thing like with lunch or breakfast, you know, breakfast of the day, donut of the day. I just pick out a beer and we go with that. One problem. I'm not a beer drinker. I hate the taste of hops. So I don't know much about beers. About the only thing I know of American beer that I like is Guinness. But even that is kind of yeah. A good Guinness or a good ale, you have to go to the source. Ireland for Guinness and a pint over in England. Their beers and ales over there taste way different than the soapy cow piss crap we get here in the states <laughs> so you'll pass that that's about as far as i know on beer <laughs> so it's kind of hard to do beer of the day when you don't know beers so uh i'm gonna have to shoot that one in the foot but anyway i'm gonna bottle this up it's 10 30 now it's gonna take me probably an hour to two hours maybe more the way it's going it's probably gonna be maybe more to get this edited and uploaded and i'd like to get to bed i'm beat so, I'm going to call it quits. We're going to say stay spooky and stay toxic.